More on the story I was just referencing. North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un has arrived in Russia this morning ahead of a planned summit tomorrow with President Vladimir Putin. Kim traveled by train to the eastern port city of Vladivostok, and that's where his meeting will take place tomorrow. Kim's first visit to Russia is widely seen as an effort to drum up support from Putin, while nuclear talks with Washington are in limbo. You remember that summit with U.S. President Donald Trump in Hanoi in February. It ended early and without an agreement. The two sides are seemingly far apart now on how to trade sanctions relief for meaningful steps toward denuclearization. Our Moscow correspondent Chris Brown has more in this look ahead. This long-anticipated meeting has been on and off now for almost two years, and it certainly appears as though that as long as Kim Jong-un was meeting with Donald Trump, he really didn't need to be meeting with Vladimir Putin as well. But with the collapse of the last Trump summit in February, now Kim Jong-un has come to Russia. His famous armored train didn't have to go far for this trip. Just across the bridge over the Tumen River, and North Korea's supreme leader arrived in Russia for the first time. He was dressed all in black with a fedora. Kim was offered a serving of traditional Russian bread and salt as he arrived, but no one's really sure if he actually ate it, though. Really no signs of chewing there. In a short interview later with Russian TV, Kim said through a translator that he hopes the talks with Vladimir Putin will be successful and can help resolve the situation on the Korean peninsula. Already a couple of bizarre moments, such as here when his bodyguards are seen running alongside his train as it pulls into Vladivostok, apparently cleaning the handles of the doors that Kim is going to alight from. And then a small red carpet glitch where the train didn't quite line up properly with the carpet, so rather than move the carpet, of course, they moved the train. Once in the city, Kim inspected a Russian honor guard, and not long after that, we had an appearance by those famous jogging bodyguards as his motorcade left in advance of the meeting with Putin tomorrow. For Vladimir Putin, the goal here may be to try to insert himself into this two-way dynamic so that any potential deal later involving nuclear weapons on the Korean Peninsula is a multilateral one and involves Russia too. For Kim, the idea here may be to get some more leverage with another partner aside from China to keep the United States off balance and guessing. And for the Kremlin, domestic politics are always a consideration and the goal here may be to show that in one of the most dangerous and unpredictable parts of the world, Russia matters. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.